Good day, this is Phil Phillips and we're at the GLK headquarters. Uh, GLK is God Loves Kids, if you don't know yet, and God does love kids. And for 45 years, we have been reaching out to some of the neediest children in the world with a very real solution. So you can feed a kid, you can clothe them, you can, uh, you can do a lot of things in their life, but if you aren't educating them and discipling them daily, then there's no solution to the problem. Just feeding a kid doesn't work. Just educating a kid doesn't work because you give them you give them education or head knowledge without wisdom. They don't have the wisdom to manage life. They need a relationship with Jesus Christ. They need that to be solidified through daily mentoring in their lives. And they need an education. And you grow up a whole generation of kids brought off the trash heap of life, brought off the dumps of Calcutta, out of the brothels of India, out of the sex slave trafficking in Nepal, and you bring them into a safe environment, and you give them daily discipleship and daily education in their life, along with love and compassion, and you have a winning formula for long-term systemic change in a culture and a community. I had a man ask me one time, can you change Costa Rica because I was living in Costa Rica and working with the United Nations at the time and he thought I was some kind of hot shot and I said no I will never change Costa Rica I can train the people who can but I'll never change it and that's exactly what I feel my role is as the father of this ministry you know my mom was known as Mama Lovey and there was a different tone to the ministry when she was leading it it was a mother's heart of compassion and I hope I maintain that heart of compassion, but I believe that God has called me to father this ministry into the future and to bring a, a father's wisdom and a father's hand to this ministry. You know, for 45 years, the ministry has functioned, but it's functioned at a higher level than probably it should have because of our family. My dad made it huge sacrifices to help God loves kids over the years. He helped my mom in so many ways, allowed her to be on his radio program that was heard over 11 states uh, and uh, and heard on a daily basis. You know, he he brought her with him, him when he did speaking engagements in churches. And, uh, and many times he would turn the honorarium check over to her to help her ministry. And so there's been a, a, a sense of, since he got sick and then eventually passed away, that we're playing catch up to get back to where we were. Well, last year we had an excellent year. In fact, we had one of the best years in the history of the ministry. And to be quite honest with you, we're, we're facing a daunting task right now. I, some of you know that I reported uh, just a few days ago that we needed 150 people to give $1,000 or more. I really believe that 150 people need to participate, no matter what size of donation they are. But if they give $1,000 or more, we consider them to be foundational in our ministry. This ministry has never raised $150,000 in six weeks, never. It's a huge faith step for us to even ask. In fact, Beth said, you think you scared people by asking for $150,000 in our last newsletter? And I said, Beth, if we don't ask big, if we don't ask where we need to go, we'll never get there. And we desperately need $150,000. We're working on our project in Africa. It has to be done. The, the building and the remodeling has to be done in September, by the end of September, or we can't open the school in January. And Bess and I are committed to going there for a month in September, and, uh, and which means that we need to book our tickets by the middle of July or they'll cost a fortune, and I'm not willing to do that. And so if we can get 75 people to give that $1,000 or more by the middle of July, then I'll commit to go ahead and buy the tickets. But by the end of August, by August 31st, I need 150 total people who have given $1,000 or more. Now here's the praise report. We just put that out just recently. Just put it out in the newsletter. Just put it out uh, uh, here on Facebook. And in the last few days, we've had four people who chose to participate and to partner with us at that $1,000 or more level. In fact, one of those couples is from Uganda. Not only are they from Uganda, they live in Uganda. And they make, they're living in Uganda. 
and yet they chose to partner with us for a thousand dollars to help build this school in Uganda. Now God showed me that we're to, to bring all of our ministry in Uganda into one location. And he gave us that location. We were able to buy about a $300,000 piece of property for 99,000 US dollars. And, uh, and we had to use personal funds to do it. We didn't raise that money. It was, it was too quick of a transaction and we were focused on Nepal. And so we had to use personal funds. My inheritance, if you will, was spent on, uh, on a school in Uganda. And so we need your help to move this vision forward. We need some people who really buy in. $1,000 is not too much considering where it's going. It's going to go help a, a tremendous need, a tremendous need, whether it's in Nepal to rescue girls from sex trafficking, whether it's in Africa uh, where, where we're, we're going to be developing a whole new generation of leaders and ministry and revolutionizing a community. You know, we're in a Muslim community. They spent 15 years trying to convert that community from Christianity to Muslim, and they were very successful. Do you know that we have turned the tide in less than a year, and we're not even open yet. We're seeing conversions back to Christianity, first time conversions to Christianity. Over 50% of the people who attend our, our weekly outreach are Muslims and from Muslim families. In fact, let me tell you what happened. We were so short on money that our director in Africa only had $15 in his account. $15 to run a ministry and our whole ministry in Africa. Well, that's what was in his account just a few days ago. And he contacted Bessie and he said, Mama, I don't think we could do the outreach unless we can get some money. But Bessie and I prayed and you guys responded we were able to send him 500, but just before we sent him the 500, <coughs> excuse me, he sent out an announcement to all the guys. He said, be prepared for our biggest outreach to the community ever. We're going to see more people come this outreach. Now he was prepared to cancel it just a few moments earlier. And, uh, and yet God spoke to him to have faith for the outreach. And so without knowing that we were sending him money, he announced to the guys, we're going to have our biggest outreach ever. And you know they had almost 300 people this weekend at the outreach. It's phenomenal what God is doing in this ministry. God is doing phenomenal things, and you can be a part of it. I'm so excited about what's going on, but we are under so much pressure, and unduly so. We've had some things take place that are technical that have withheld our funds from us. And so we, we have funds we have assets, we have resources that are not released to us right now. So we are cash poor. And we need to have a release of cash right now. Not tomorrow, not next week. And yes, then again tomorrow and next week, we need a release of funds. So we've had four people respond at $4,000. We need 141 more. And I wanna challenge you, if you know that you're supposed to be a part of that 141, you already know it in your spirit because God has already spoken to you. And that's the way it happens here. When people support God Loves Kids, most of the time God has already spoken to them before they hear this type of appeal. If you know that you're supposed to be a part of the 141, we need your money right now. We don't need it three weeks from now. We need it right now. And we need, because we have to move forward. We have so many things that are about to freeze up and it will take us months or maybe even years to recover from that, that period of freezing up, that I have to come before you and give you this strong of appeal. We need your money, we need it right now. Not hours from now, right now. And, uh, and I know you'll be blessed, I know that you're sowing into good ground. I'm not gonna promise you what God's gonna do in your life, but we have seen lives revolutionized uh, because of their participation in this ministry. The group we took to Utila, the 27 members that went, uh, 25 besides Bess and I, every single one of them is talking about how dramatically their life has been altered because of the ministry of God Loves Kids in their life. And then they turn around and minister to the kids' lives on the island of Utila Cays. And what a wonderful time of ministry that was. You'll be hearing more about that later. But just know, we are at a crucial moment in time. It is... Uh, 
It is a tsunami of needs that have hit us. And it's a tsunami of needs that have hit us when our bank account is at a historical low. And so we need your help. We need it now. We need 141 people in order to set us free to go to the nations. Bess and I must be set free to disciple these kids, to do the ministry that God has called us in these kids' life. We can't do it from behind a desk. We can't do it long distance only. We have to go, we have to touch, we have to minister, we have to bring call forth an anointing out of these kids' lives, and we have to drive home to our directors the fact that our children's spiritual eternal destinies are crucial, and they need to be ministering to them daily, that that classroom is their church. And so that's the type of passion, and that's the type of ministry that we're bringing every day across this world, and, and we've been doing it for 45 years, but there's a different tone, a different level, and God has called me to father this ministry into the future, and that's exactly what I'm doing, and so I'm asking you to partner with me. Don't leave us out hanging, needing, uh, uh, needing a miracle all the time. We need to see God's hand of provision now, and, and the only way we see it, as my dad set me free to ask, man, I, I held up a sign at his funeral, said it came to pass the beggar died because he felt like he was asking for money all the time. But if you don't ask, if you don't present the need, if you don't place it before the people and allow God to speak to their hearts, nothing will ever happen. And so I know that the ministry of these children's lives is so great that I'm willing to put myself out there, not for my own benefit, but for theirs, and ask you to send $1,000 or more this minute. And you can do it on push pay, by, by texting God Loves Kids to 77977. That's all you do. You go, you text God Loves Kids to the number 77977. It walks you through. It's so easy. And then once you're set up, it's instantaneous. If you, anytime you want to give money to God Loves Kids, you push two buttons and the donation is done. It's the way I give almost every single penny I give to my church. I give it on push pay. Other ministries I give on push pay, and it's such a phenomenal tool. So you text God Loves Kids, all one word, to 77977, and that's how you can give to God Loves Kids this minute. And that's what we need this minute giving.